the third plant hormone is gibberellin where this gibberellin is endogenous plant growth regulator it is plant growth promoter also that it promotes the growth of the plant and this is generally a terpene derivative which is specifically derived from the lipids so this is an one of the endogenous plant growth hormone or regulator and it is commonly found in the growing part such as young tissues roots embryos germinating seeds and the shoot buds where this is generally named as ga1 ga2 ga3 and so on so there are number of this gibberellins or gibberellic acids where the most commonly used or intensively used gibberellin is a GA3. Where regarding the discovery of this gibberellin, where it is discovered from the fungus that is Gibberella fujikori, which is found on the rice by a Japanese ph physiologist, where he found that this gibberella produces the gibberellic acid, and this gibberellic acid it is responsible for lengthening of plant of a rice so it generally increases the size or we can say the length of the rice plant so on that basis this gibberellin acid or we can say these gibberellins are discovered now regarding the applications of gibberellins so here these are responsible for the stem elongation generally at the internal portions they shows this elongation this is also responsible for breaking seed and bud dormancy that means obviously it is responsible for the seed growth seed germination or the bud growth it also increases the size of the leaves and it is responsible for the development of a parthenocarpy fruits here parthenocarpy means the fruits which are developed without fertilization so that fruits will be developed by means of this gibberellins and these are also responsible for increasing size of the fruit and also for development of a seedless fruit varieties so seedless fruits development can also be occur it also shows delay in senescence that means it delays in the aging of the leaves and the citrus fruits then it promote bolting where bolting means it promote internodal distance especially in the rosy plant rosy plants like cabbage so here you can see the cabbage it is having very small internodes through which the, the its leaves are generally produced and to increase this internal distance this can be occurred by means of this gibberellin so that is increase in the internal distance it is nothing but the bolting so and these are also responsible for flowering in the long day plant where at lower doses these gibberellins they generally increases the glycoside content in the digitalis so this is regarding one of the example uh, regarding the secondary metabolites then another applications that is increase in the production of the digoxin in the digitalis that is similar one then increase in the volatile content in the anithum species so this is one of the species which contains the volatile oil so by means of this gibberellins this volatile oil content will be increased then increase in the height of the castor plant like same as rice then it promote vegetative and fruit growth so it generally shows the increase in the growth that is it promote the growth properties in the plants and it also responsible for delaying the fruit maturity so this is regarding the applications of the gibberellin so gibberellin is again a growth promoter or we can say that is responsible for the growth of the plant the fourth plant hormone that is ethylene which is one of the 
plant hormone that is present in the gaseous form and it is nothing but the plant growth inhibitor where this is simple organic molecule which is present in the form of a gas and is volatile in nature and that is generally present in the parts like ripe fruits, flowers, stem, roots, tubers, seeds and the leaf where this is generally found in the higher amount in the ripened fruits or in senescence part that means the parts which are become old. So this is found in this part in a higher amount where regarding the discovery of this ethylene where the scientist gain in 1934 he found that the ripe apple which is responsible for formation of this ethylene gas and this ethylene is responsible for ripening of another unripe apples. So accordingly he found that this ethylene is generally responsible for ripening in the fruits. Where regarding the functions of ethylene, so obviously the first function is a fruit ripening. The second is it stimulate leaf abscission that is it is responsible for detachment of the leaves. Then it suppresses stem and root elongation that it inhibit the growth of the stem as well as the roots. Then it stimulate flower and leaf senescences that means it causes aging of the flowers as well as the leaf. Then it shows breaking in the dormancy that means it is responsible for showing the growth as well as it is responsible for stem swelling that means it shows or it promotes horizontal growth of the plant. Then uh, this ethylene along with oxygen it suppresses the lateral bud formation. So it avoid or we can say it inhibit the lateral bird development. It stimulate the latex flow in the rubber tree. It increases the sinusoid concentration in the senna. So sinusoid is one of the active constituent which is present in the senna and that can be increased by means of this ethylene. Then this ethylene is also responsible for flower opening but it is responsible for discoloration of the flower petals. So this ethylene it is generally used or it is having the activity that is the growth inhibitor. So on that basis it is having the function that is it is responsible for leaf abscission, then development or stimulation of the senescence, then it is responsible for inhibiting the growth of the different plant parts. Okay, but beside this it is also having some stimulant property. We can say that it is responsible for fruit ripening, then it is also shows increase in the secondary metabolites of some of the plants etc. So this is regarding the ethylene. And the fifth hormone is abscisic acid that is ABA which is nothing but also a plant growth inhibitor where as the name indicate abscisic so we can conclude that or we can say that this abscisic acid is responsible for causing the abscission that is nothing but detachment of the parts of the plants. So it is a natural plant growth inhibitor and it is present in aging leaves, mature fruits and generally in stress condition plants that is which face the conditions like drought, flood, like stressful conditions. Hence it is also called as a stress hormone or dormin that is which is responsible for dormancy. The scientist Adicott in 1963 he isolated abscisin 1 and abscisin 2 from the cotton balls whereas the scientist Osborne found it in sensent leaves that is the leaves which are old. So this abscisic acid is generally responsible for causing abscission.
Well, regarding the functions of the abscisic acid, that is, this is responsible for abscission of different organs like leaves, flowers, fruits, etc. This is also promote the seed and bird dormancy. That is, it causes inhibition of the growth of the seed as well as the birds. That it inhibit the seed germination and the bird development. It inhibit gibberellin synthesis of alpha amylase which is required for seed germination and other hydrolytic enzymes. That means it inhibit gibberellin which is required for the seed germination and ultimately it inhibit the seed germination and also it is responsible for inhibiting the synthesis of other hydrolytic enzymes. Then it acts as an antiperspirant by closing the stomata. So we have seen regarding the pore which is present in between the guard cells so that guard cells uh, pores will be closed uh, by means of this abscisic acid and thus it shows the property that is the antiperspirant property that is it prevent the water loss okay in the stressful conditions then this abscisic acid it enhances in the conditions like flood drought injury and the freezing temperature means these stressful conditions are responsible for synthesizing more amount of abscisic acid in the plant and in that way this abscisic acid is going to show its actions that is it is going to inhibit the growth of the plant material or we can say it inhibit the growth of the birds leaves flowers or it may causes abscission of these parts also then it is also responsible for reversing the effects of the other growth hormones that means it is going to uh, act as an uh, uh, inhibitor for other growth hormone means it combat the actions of the other growth hormones so this is regarding the abscisic acid okay thank you very much please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel to get more videos regarding pharmacognosis itself thank you